High Point is working to revitalize the South Side neighborhood through affordable housing. Progress has been made over the past few months, and there are more plans for this year. Fox 8 Celeste Smith is live in High Point with what's in store for 2024. Yeah, well, just four months ago, the city purchased this property right behind me here on West Green Drive that will be used as affordable housing. The property will be demolished and then it will become a buildable lot like 20 others in this neighborhood where nonprofit developers and builders will be able to construct a single family home. There are just so many different things that were planned for that community that have already happened. And so the housing is just now really starting um, to make a huge difference. Southside neighborhood sits between Taylor Avenue, West Green Drive, West Ward Avenue and South Main Street. A revitalization plan was developed for the neighborhood in 2008 and the city has been working on it since. It's certainly for the health of not only just Southside, but for the general community health. When we talk about the city of High Point as a whole, we want to make um, neighborhoods safer, cleaner. We want individuals to be able to purchase a home if that is their desire. The affordable homes are similar to the ones the city is working to construct outside in another neighborhood on Cedro Drive. To date, 30 affordable homes have been constructed in Southside neighborhood. Four of them were built within the last year. People have already moved into them and more will be built this year. We do expect for the construction to really get ramped up. So for the 2024 year, we certainly hope that maybe we can um, get at least eight to 10 units constructed in Southside. Affordable housing isn't the only thing the city is implementing to revitalize the neighborhood. Also working closely with the Neighborhood Association to determine what community members want to see in the area. I actually spoke with someone just recently. Um, they really want a daycare in that neighborhood. So they do bring ideas to us and that is something that we do work very closely with them because it is important that when someone selects a neighborhood to make their home that they have the things in that neighborhood that they need and desire. Each of the lots the city has identified for affordable housing will have a home reconstructed on the property with the help of nonprofits like Habitat for Humanity and Community Housing Solutions. Live in High Point, Celeste Smith, Fox 8 News.